Pope invited trans women over for a pastor and meatballs dinner. Here's a summary of the article. Pope Francis has made strides in the Catholic Church's acceptance of transgender people over recent months, but recently took a dramatic step to ensure that his message was being received. A group of transgender women with a history of personally interacting with the pontiff were invited to join 1,000 other poor and homeless guests for lunch to mark the Catholic Church's World Day of the Poor. The women were treated like VIPs, with one, a former sex worker, seated at the table with the Pope. The women's relationship with the Pope developed during the pandemic when they appealed to the church for help at the urging of the local priest. Local funds were depleted, but the church provided the women with food and other assistance. Assistance quickly came from the Pope's chief almsgiver, who also made sure the women were vaccinated against COVID. Many of the trans women were Latin American immigrants and ineligible to get the vaccine in Italy, so the church gave it to them directly. Then Pope Francis arrived and the doors of the church opened for us. This post received a score of 22,000, with an upvote ratio of 84%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I hope he wasn't wearing that nice clean white outfit. Tricky with pasta and meatballs. And everybody put on the best white suits. So nice. What did I just watch? Seriously no idea what show this is? Hilarious. The State. A 90s MTV skit show. It was hilarious. Damn, I had no idea Ken Marino was around acting during the early 90s. Jolo Trulio from B99 as well. Jolo Truglio from Wet Hot American Summer. Greater than the group dined on cannelloni pasta filled with spinach and ricotta plus meatballs in a tomato basil sauce and cauliflower puree. They were served tiramisu and petite fours for dessert. I have to admit, that sounds delicious enough to make me envious of all those who attended. Yeah, the article didn't have to go so hard now I have to change my dinner plans. Thanksgiving pasta. I have Thanksgiving with an Italian family. They serve a full traditional Thanksgiving meal and pasta, Italian wedding soup and a few other Italian food things. It's the best. What course are you on presently? If you have ever cared for me my darling, please either bring me an antacid or end my suffering. Something I said to my wife the last time I had Italian. Did she finally put you out of your misery when she found out about you and the Italian? She joined them. She must be French. Enough of the politics, your skin and bones, non a pope. Could only be better if they all left with Tupperware containers full of food. Oh to leave the Pope's home with a cool whip container of meatballs would be a huge hit in my Midwestern town. Ricotta cheese containers if you're gonna be a real Italian. Ricotta cheese containers, margarine containers, mason jars of soup or boiled and strained pomodoro or already made sugo. Hell maybe even some soprasada or capicolo that the nanos, nanas have had hanging in the cantina in the basement. My great gran had a second kitchen in the basement. It's where my GG father made his wine. Now I understand. O-M-F-G-Y-E-S-S-S My grandparents also had a second kitchen in the basement and my nano made his own wine. It was serviceable lol. Also had a large concrete sink there as well where he would gut and clean the fish he brought back from fishing. I always remember too that they always had the rounds of rustic whole grain Italian bread from an local Italian bakery. I mean they lived in an area where a lot of Italian immigrants at the time settled down. That had like a hard dark crust and was generally kinda dry but was great for dipping in coffee. I'm working on my Italian genealogy and it's brought up many memories for my mom, who lived with her extended family for the first three years of her life. I wish I could go back in time and hug them and hear their stories. Question mark. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.